nobody ever said that Obamacare was going to be perfect. That was never the dream. It would have been nice, but it doesn't work like that. Social Security took a long time to perfect. Medicare took a long time to perfect. This would take a long time to perfect, too. But the one thing that everybody should admit is, is that as a result of Obamacare, fewer and fewer people were left uninsured and without access to health care. That, in and of itself, should have been enough for them to drop the repeal and replace with, let's fix it and make it better. is in D.C. Frankly, that's not even what the game is here in the state of Missouri. The game is we got more people than you got and we're going to impose our ideology on you. Whether or not it solves any problems, whether or not it actually helps people, we're just going to play political power games. That's not where this is at. All of these things need to be changed. We need to be making decisions based on facts and data and driving those facts and data in a way that helps us actually solve problems and not create them. The facts of this are very simple. The richest country in the world does not provide health insurance to everybody living in that country. That's a fact. Another fact, Obamacare reduced that number and with tweaks and adjustments could have reduced it even more and maybe achieved full coverage for everyone. Data. The data is that there are more people alive today because they got health care than they would have been if they didn't. That alone should have been something that would have driven Congress to find a way to fix the system as opposed to wanting to get rid of it in order to blatantly declare that they're doing it to, to fulfill a political promise. They've forgotten their first political promise. Their first political promise is to defend the Constitution of the United States and to protect the people in it. That's the promise they should be taking care of.